Hi, I'm Judy Stanford, and I'm coming to you from CE Week 2016. And today, I've got members that were here for a panel on drones, and I'm going to ask each of you to introduce yourselves, tell us about your company, and um, maybe a quick word about the products that you have, and then we're going to start asking a couple questions. Hi, I'm Sydney Wiseman from Wowie Toys. Um, we're showing Lumi today, which is a drone that is so easy, anyone can fly. Push a button and it's one touch takeoff and it self-stabilizes and then you can do all sorts of cool things with it. Hey, I'm Michael Irigoyen with Odyssey Toys and today I'll be showing you the pocket drone. And uh, we'll get to that and I'll take it out and I'll assemble it and show you how it works. Hi, my name is Chris Blower and I'm with Queen Bee Robotics and we specialize in VR video capture for drones. So we have a drone that has five cameras in belt uh, that can capture full 360 video and do onboard video stitching as well. So I'm Dan Rowe, I'm from Drone Vault. Uh, we make uh, service drones, which are drones that are purposely built for a task. Uh, it can be uh, cinematography, but it could also be surveillance or crop spraying. And I'm Jeremy Kaplan from Digital Trends. I was the moderator of the panel. I've been grilling these guys on some drone technology. Thank you. So a question that I have for you all is, a lot of people think that drones are interesting, but there's just as many people who are like, why would I want a drone? So for that customer, what would you say? Um, I think we're a little bit of a different case. We're, we're selling to kids, so we're hoping that the word drone has become such a buzzword that every kid is going to want a drone for this Christmas. So we wanted to bring something that was accessible to kids so that there isn't that question. Every kid is like, oh my god, I need this drone because it's so cool and it's the cool thing to have. So I think in your case that's most likely true, but let's talk about adults then. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, s some commercial drones have uh, you know, various applicability. Um, and uh, for toy drones, I mean, w a cool feature that we're doing nowadays is we're putting cameras on board. Uh, so for family events or, or sporting events, you could you fly your drones out, you could snap some uh, some cool pictures of uh, whatever's going on, take some videos. So uh, there, there's certainly some applicability in the toy drone market for adults. You know, and, and we were just talking about this earlier. Flight is cool. You know, I mean, it's just neat that they put something in the air and you're the one controlling it. You're the one flying it. And uh, toy drones have become so easy to fly nowadays that uh, anyone can do it. So it's a cool way to get up in the air. Uh, we certainly at uh, Queen Bee Robotics, because we work with VR, one of the key points is that uh, for drones, we see them more as a platform or a tool that can help you with your VR applications. Similar to that as a selfie stick, it's just a case of that some people love it, some people hate them. But with our drones, it's a case of that it just is a medium for you to be able to transport your VR footage so you can make dynamic shots. So we try to make it as easy as possible for filmmakers in VR and standard footage to be able to make it uh, as easy as possible so that they can get along and focus on their main task, which is obviously doing the recording. Uh, for us, uh, there are many industries that uh, have been doing things very manually and um, sometimes not as safe uh, as could be performed by drones. Uh, the drone service industry is large and it's getting larger by the day and will quadruple uh, or more uh, in overall business in the next four years. Uh, it, they can be used for anything. They can be used for um, surveillance, agriculture, uh, security, they can be used for um, cinematography, and we make a drone that does a little bit of every one of those things. One of the things we spent a lot of time discussing on the panel just now was the word drone itself, which kind of means and sort of implies boring. A droning voice is one that is monotonous, and, and what's interesting is the incredible variety of things we've seen from these guys. Drones that can record video, drones that are simply toys that are just incredibly fun, drones that are incredibly useful uh, almost uh, incredibly useful tools that you almost can't live without. It's kind of amazing how wide the variety of, of drones are. I want to thank you all for being here with us today. Thanks.